hello grade 11 so um yes so today i'm just going to quickly explain how to work with quadratic number patterns all right so there's a number pattern that we can see on there okay so let's write the pattern down uh the numbers it's one four ten nineteen thirty one and 46 so this is the numbers we have okay normally with linear patterns would expect to be adding the same thing or multiplying the same thing okay let's see how do we get the next numbers here so from 1 to 4 there's a difference of 3 but from 4 to 10 there's a difference of 6 okay so that is not our normal number patterns anymore from 10 to 19 there's a difference of 9 from 19 to 31 there is a difference of uh, 31 minus 19, that will give you 12. Uh, 31 to 46, that will give you a difference of 15. Okay, now, suppose we need to find the next two numbers. What do you think we're going to, what do you think we're going to add to get the next number? Yes, if you say 18, then your guess was right. So the next number will be 46 plus 18, so that's 46, 56 plus 8, uh, 64. So that is how you generate the next number and so on and so on. So what we have here is what is called the first difference. Okay, so that is the first difference. Okay, now if we now check what is the difference between 3 and 6 we'll find that it's 3 okay 6 to 9 we find the distance is 3 so basically 6 plus 3 gives you 9 9 plus 3 gives you 12 12 plus 3 gives you 15 so this is what we call the second difference okay so this is the second difference right so can you see the second difference is the one that's constant it means it's the same all the time so when you have a sequence of numbers that has a second difference that is the same throughout then you know you're dealing with a quadratic sequence okay now in, in when you write exams um, remember with your linear sequences you used to write the formula of the sequence right so with the quadratic sequence we also have to write the general formula of this sequence right so on your notes in example one you've got a sequence here all right so it's find the general term of the sequence negative 1 and 9 and 23 and 41 first of all we need to check what kind of sequence are we dealing with here okay so let's write the numbers down negative 1 and 9 and 23 and 41 okay now what is the difference from negative remember that's a negative now so the difference between negative 1 and 9 you're actually going to add them and it's actually 10 okay the difference between 23 and 9 is actually uh, yes, you guessed it right. It is 14. Am I right? Yeah, I think I'm right. It is 14. Okay, the difference between 23 and 41, so 23, 33, is 18. So what is the second difference? 14 minus 10 gives us 4. 18 minus 14 gives us 4. So that is our second common difference. Now, when you are looking for the second common difference you need to remember the following formula right so you need to remember for the third for the di second difference you need to remember that the second difference is equal to 2a the first difference is equal to 3a plus b and the first difference is a plus b plus c you need to remember this formula very important unfortunately they will not give this to you at the end of the year in the exam so you must know it 
So how are you going to work it out? Well, our sequence is a quadratic sequence, which means the general form is a quadratic equation. Okay, so it's an equation of the form a n squared plus b n plus c. Okay, so what you need to work out is the value of a, the value of b, and the value of c. So, first of all, how do we work out the value of a? Remember what you said on our second difference here. 2a becomes equal to the second difference. So, in this case, 2a becomes equal to 4. Okay, we are going to solve for a. So, you divide by 2 there, you divide by 2 there. Okay, obviously cancel out. A is equal to 2. Now you know the value of A. It is 2. Okay, let's work out the value of B. If we look here, 3A plus B, you take the first one only. So 3A plus B is equal to 10. Okay, so now we write that 3A plus B is equal to 10. But we know the value of A already. We worked it out. It was 2. So where there's A, we're going to substitute and put 2. So it's 3 times 2. Now, it's B that we need to solve for. Okay, so 3 times 2, it's 6 plus B is equal to 10. We all know our rules of algebra. When you're solving for B, the 6, we take it over and it becomes a minus. So B is equal to 10 minus 6, which means B is equal to... Four. Okay, now we know the value of A, we know the value of B, we need to work out the value of C now. Alright, so let's work it out quickly. We go back to our original formula. A plus B plus C is equal to negative 1. Okay, so let's write that. A plus B plus C is equal to negative 1 okay well we did work out a it was 2 remember we did work out b it was 4 remember so we're going to substitute that so a is 2 b is 4 so it's the c that we need to solve for all right so 2 plus 4 we know that is 6 plus c which is equal to negative 1 take the c over so it's going to end up subtracting so negative 1 minus 6 which means C is equal to negative 7. So now we know what is A, we know what is B, we know what is C. We are now going to substitute it into this formula that we had here. So let us do that. So which means our general form is going to be... Okay, so the general term is going to be given by T of N is equal to a we know that's 2 so that is 2 n squared plus we know b is 4 that is 4 n c is negative 7 so minus 7 and there we have it that is the general term of this quadratic sequence okay now as an activity i would like you to do example number two when you're done, you can send the uh, answers to me via WhatsApp or you can attach it on your Google Classroom. And then when you're done, you can get on with the exercise. Thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions, you can type them in the comment box below or you can send them to me via WhatsApp or on the Google Classroom. Thank you.